Hi, this is Jane Fredericks, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple song uh, in FL Studio 12. Uh, we're going to make something in the vein of a hip-hop beat today, and um, the first thing you're going to want to do for anything like that is uh, pick a sample to use, because uh, that kind of song is very sample-dependent. We're going to use this one, because uh, it sounds very nice. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, get familiar with the uh, channel rack. That's this thing right here. Um, it's where you can create patterns. And um, patterns are uh, tools that we can use to uh, decide when sounds happen and place them throughout the song. So um, the channel rack will indicate to you like what kind of instruments you're using. Uh, in the song, and you can drag and drop things um, from your resources folders into here and then use them as you will on this grid. Uh, for every four of these little rounded rectangles, it uh, equals a beat. Depending on the BPM or beats per minute you have the song assigned to. And if we preview this, we can see that uh, I just put in a kick at the beginning of every beat for this pattern. So. Uh, to adjust this sample to fit a beat, we're going to make sure that we're placing down uh, the pattern that we just made, first of all, and then we're going to drop some of those in here with this pencil tool. And a good thing to keep in mind is that there's a drop-down menu towards the top, and uh, that decides whether when you drop patterns, if they uh, fall just freeform or they conform to these lines which indicate beats. Um, it's very useful to uh, set it to line when you want to do very specific things and set it to none when you want to make very minute adjustments. Alright, so we'll turn the volume down on the sample just a little bit and see what it sounds like right now. Alright, so we have a general idea of uh, how much of this sample goes for four beats. So we'll try to uh, cut the sample right here where it seems like another bar begins. We'll use, that, we'll use the slice tool to do that. It's a little box cutter shaped icon on that toolbar up there. Alright, then we'll switch back to the paintbrush or the pencil. Either one works. And we'll right click the rest of this sample to get rid of it. Now, what we're going to want to do, this is very important. Uh, this icon up here can enable or disable stretch, and stretch uh, will change the speed and the pitch of a sample or a sound when you uh, change the size of it. And it's, it's very important to know whether uh, that's on or off. So we made that just a little quicker to try to fit it in with these, these 16 beats that we put down. We'll zoom in very close and try to get it just right. Um, you can zoom in and out by putting your uh, cursor on this black bar above uh, the song that you're putting together and using the scroll wheel on your mouse. So we'll see what that sounds like. And it's not perfect, but for now, it'll work. I'll adjust it just a little bit more off camera, uh, just to fit time constraints for this project, but um, a lot of samples that you use will have a brief moment of silence at the beginning, and it's a you'll have an easier time fitting it into uh, a rhythm if you zoom in there and uh, take that out. Right. So now we got that going on. I suppose the next step would be to create a bass line. And to do that, 
Well, actually, no, let's do drums first. Those are more fun anyway. We're going to click this icon up here to bring the channel rack back. And um, this is where we'll make our beat. We'll expand on these uh, four beats in the pattern. Um, you can get all kinds of different drum kits uh, from the internet for free. If you just Google like free drum kits, you'll find a ton of them. Um, Fruity Loops comes with a couple uh, drums built in, and um, I could get into a lot of logistics about like why certain drums are good in certain situations, but I won't do that. Um, anytime that you get uh, drum kits, just drag the folder that you put them in over into that sidebar, and then you can uh, drag them into your project. Right. So we'll get started making a rhythm. First we'll delete uh, two of those things that we put down because we want to expand this from four beats to eight beats so that we can easier add a little variety. Um, all you gotta do is uh, click these sort of ghost boxes over here and those will expand the pattern as you can see. And uh, then just mess around with it. It's it's kind of just you have to act on intuition if you're if you're just starting out uh, making stuff like this. So we'll put together a beat real quick. That snare is a little loud. We'll probably want to adjust that in a minute. These knobs here, next to the instruments that you're using, can be used to adjust the volume of each of them individually. And these knobs on the left uh, will change the position of um, whether they come through the left headphone or the right headphone. Alright, so we'll see what that sounds like with the sample. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this sample a little better uh, right now. Alright, so I cut that a little better and it uh, fits fits the beat uh, <laughs> correctly more or less now. Um, now I suppose the next thing uh, is create a bass line. So we'll add a new pattern with this little plus sign icon here. And then we'll decide what sort of instrument we uh, want to use to make a bass line. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of uh, a synthesizer called Massive. Um, soft synths are uh, very complicated and we won't get into them right now, but this is the instrument that we will use to uh, make our bass sounds. And to create a melody uh, or bass line or anything where you have to change the pitch of notes, you can right click on any instrument in your channel rack and you can move it into the piano roll which is this grid here uh, with piano notes all up the side of it, piano keys, and you can uh, drag and drop notes and stretch them out if you want them to hold longer or shorter etc. 
uh, it's very important to get intimate with the um, piano roll. You really want to know like your way around it. Just like go in here and like mess around with it uh, just as often as possible because it's a really good thing to have a handle on. Uh, it's difficult to know like what kind of um, notes will fit a sample or a melody that you already have. Uh, if you're if you're not super experienced, so you just kind of have to feel it out intuitively and uh, try things until something works. I'm gonna move this up an octave, make it a little easier to hear. So as you can see, when I drag the end of a note, it'll go. Uh, for longer or shorter before stopping the sound completely. sounding pretty good. Now you can use a selection tool up here to highlight all of the stuff that you've done so far and then do a quick control C, control V to copy and paste. Now you have a copy of what you've already made and you can drag it to the very back of the project to line it up with everything else and then uh, switch, your, um, switch this to line here so that it snaps to the grid. And there you go, now you have a repeating pattern, and you can do that as many times as you want, and that will uh, change the overall length of your song once you export it. Alright, so now we're going to uh, throw a melody on top of this real quick. Um, we're going to use a trap whistle sound font that I have. A sound font is just a bank of pre-recorded sounds that you can manipulate in different ways. It's a they're a much easier tool to uh, make melodies with than a soft synth if um, if you're new to the game. I'm not super into that trap whistle, so I'm going to try another one. That's a pretty good one. I guess technically this isn't a soft synth, it's a... Um, sound made with a utility within Fruity Loops, but it works similarly to a sound font, and sound fonts are something I wanted to talk about, so... We'll shorten these real quick. adjustment for flare. And this bar up here can be used to adjust the speed of the song by beats per minute. I probably should have adjusted that at the very beginning to be honest. the song down from 130 beats per minute to 95 beats per minute. And now I'm going to reset the pitch of this sample so that it doesn't sound quite so ghastly.
And there you have it. That's um, the essentials of how to make a, a simple song in free loops. Uh, play around. <laughs>